Alrighty then. Yeah. Who is this <laughs> lassy looking character? This is Finnegan, and it's a beautiful little Sheltie puppy that is just the sweetest little thing in the whole world. She's right. a Swedish, got those ears that want to make yeah, it fly. Yeah, lassie. It right. just, it, well, baby lassie. Yeah, baby lassie. Yeah, baby lassie. Yeah, yeah, just a little, oh. All right. Just a little love bug. Just an absolute love bug. All right, we, yeah. Finnegan, we got some work to do. Oh, yeah, I guess we got to go to work. All right, let's okay. get to the first question. Yeah. My brother's moving back from Africa with his dog. Can pets transmit Ebola? You know, the answer is obviously this is this is on everyone's mind right now. Um, I'm not sure, and you and I discussed this earlier. And I think you're correct. I'm not sure they're going to let a lot of animals back. Very simply, are dogs vectors? Yeah, they can be vectors. Mm -hmm. They can be because we don't really know all of all the nuances. Certainly, bats are. We know fruit bats. Uh, eat the carcasses of, for instance, dead gorillas, and they spread Ebola or hemorrhagic fever in that way. So you have to be really careful. All right, that's very yeah, pleasant. Fun. Okay, right. my family just bought a new hamster. It's the same breed as others we've had in the past, but she isn't as playful. Do hamsters have different personalities, or is she sick? Really? Uh, the answer, the answer is yes to both. <laughs> yeah, um, they definitely have different personalities. They, there's definitely a pecking order. Sometimes when you bring a new one into the the fold, they actually you know, kill the others. You know, there's wow. a, their kid can be really serious. Mm. Um, the question about being sick or not, um, I actually know a hamster veterinarian. So after we're done, if you want to email me at Falls Renown Hospital, I'll turn you on to a hamster veterinarian and we'll find out. He specializes in hamsters. Everything you can hold in your palm. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. <laughs> All right, uh, and last question. I have a three year old pit boxer mix <coughs> who pulled a tendon on her right rear hock. I've tried braces, they work for a while, but what other options can I look at? Gosh, I don't know how braces work. I don't know who uses braces on that. That's a very serious problem. You have to see an orthopedic surgeon. Have to see an orthopedic surgeon. And they are a degree above as far as fixing these things. Mm -hmm. You know, the interesting thing about that, Lisa, is that dogs can run on three feet. So maybe it's not really touching. If you put paint on the bottom of the foot, it probably isn't touching on that leg. But you've got to get it fixed. It, maybe they need a boot like I had an air cast. It could be, or yeah. it could be a knee and someone's thinking it's a hock. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It could be a knee injury. But All yeah, right. that boot would work well. Yeah, that would but work you know well. what? You knew that there was a problem. Uh, yeah, and you yes, said, I oh, knew that. how long were you in that boot? Nine weeks. Yeah, no way for a dog. Not happening. Not going to work. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank <laughs> you for coming in. All right, Lisa. Thank you.